so in this example we're going to maximize a utility function of perfect substitutes subject to a budget constraint um, and we've just changed the prices a little bit from the previous video in this case p1 equals 1 and p2 equals 4. Uh, so again we'll begin by uh, starting out drawing the budget constraint first and solving for q2 we get 20 minus q1 so q2 equals 5 minus q1 over 4 and so we can draw that here y-intercept is 5 and the x-intercept will be 20 the slope of negative 1 fourth and so this here is our budget constraint again we can buy any combination of q1 and q2 that falls on this line or within it and so we have to find the indifference curve which is farthest away from the origin uh, or in other words which gives us the maximum utility so let's graph this utility function which is the same as last video and it turns out to be u over 2 minus q1 over 2 or q1 over 2 and so this has a slope of negative 1 over 2 and so we can draw these lines uh, again and as utility changes the indifference curves get farther and farther away from the origin but the bottom line is the slope will stay the same. So label that I1. Might be a little tough to see. And then 10 and 20, slope of negative 1. Negative 1 half, sorry. And so we can see this touches the budget curve, but just at this last tip where we're buying all of Q1. And it's much farther from the origin than... Uh, I1 is, and so this curve I2 is going to maximize the utility function. And so we can say that uh, buying only Q1 maximizes our utility. So uh, in this case, we buy only good one. And we'll be able to get uh, 20 units of it. 